Hey guys, it's Drew the Gucci Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be showing you guys a CAC submission that we just got back. It exceeded our expectations and we can't wait to show you. Let's get this video started. So as the year wraps up, we're trying to send as many coins to CAC as possible. There's not a lot of shows. And so if we can get those coins to CAC, get them back and get them ready for 2024, that would be ideal. And so we ended up sending over 10 coins to CAC for stickering. And we wanted to get some gold stickers, hopefully a lot of gold stickers. And in this video, we ended up getting some and we ended up getting some green stickers. We almost had a flawless submission. And so we can't wait to show you guys all the coins that we submitted uh, in this video. And we hope you learned something from it. Let's show you those right now. For everyone that doesn't know, tomorrow is Drew's birthday. And we decided to surprise him with a full ribeye. Like this. We're going to enjoy his 26th birthday. If you want to wish him a happy birthday, please leave a comment below. He would much appreciate it. Alright guys, so in this CAC submission, a lot of these coins... The person that we submitted them for, they wanted to go for gold. And, you know, you'll see how we do as we unveil these coins. So the first coin I want to show you is this 1925 Lexington Commemorative Half. The luster's full, as you can see by the cartwheel. Very problem-free surfaces. Did receive the green bean. Not the most attractive coin in terms of toning, but good old sticker for sure. The next one I want to show you is this 1900 Philly. It's great mid state 64. The luster's all there. I really thought this coin was a gem. I think if I cracked this coin out, it probably would come back at 65. And that's where a lot of the you know the premium comes with holders and cack stickers. Because, you know, this one in a rattler, I just think it's undergraded. But I think that they just didn't think it was a great 65. It might be a 65 today, but uh, just a few little hits out in the field. Maybe it was holding them back. Here's a coin that you don't see every day. You do see a lot of 96p Morgan dollars, but in a white label, that's another story. This one came back with a sticker, so I'm sure he'll be very happy with this outcome. Very tough um, to find holders like this, and so when you get the sticker on it, it can add, add a few hundred dollars in value. Just a really nice white label. Then we have this 1963 Franklin Half. He's probably underwater on this coin, but he was shooting for that gold sticker. It didn't come back the way he wanted it, but there's other coins in this submission that definitely make up for it. I think we almost went all the way. Every single coin got a sticker, which is pretty cool. Then we have this 1904-0 Morgan Dollar. Once again, luster is very strong. A lot of little ticky marks out in the fields, a lot of hits. Not sure if, I don't think this strike is, is weak at all, but I think those hits just hold it back. Very stunning coin nonetheless. And here's the first big win of the submission, in my opinion. This is an 1888 Morgan Dollar. It's great men's 63 and a 2.2 gen holder. It did come back with the gold, the gold sticker. Luster is phenomenal, that Jemmy Luster. Very light fields, probably just a nice 64 by today's standards. Little sticker on the back, but really nice coin, and the holder is pretty nice as well. People collect these like candy, so it's good to have something like this maybe in a collection. Here is an 1884-0 Morgan Dollar and a 2.2 Gen. Great Jemmy Luster. Just not enough for a gold cack. Then we have this 1892 Colombian half dollar. It was held in like maybe an envelope for a little bit too long. The luster subdued, but there's some nice color to the rim. And the strike's pretty strong. Problem-free surfaces for sure. It's just when that luster's a little bit subdued, they probably wouldn't give that gold sticker. It had to be that nice blazing white, most likely. An original blazing white. You don't want to get any artificial or over-dipped blazing white coins. So we have this 1886 Philly. Look how nice the cheek looks. Very light ticky marks out in the fields, barely any. 
Stra the strike is pretty strong. Gorgeous rim toning on both sides. And the sticker's always there too. Some, most of the time the sticker's gone or it's messed up. A lot of dealers put stickers on these and they end up ripping off that. And that's why they ended up putting them in the holder instead. Then we have this 1899 Morgan dollar. This costs a little bit more in 64 and 65. And it came back with a sticker. Another 2.2 gen. Gorgeous flashy coin, especially for an omen. Then we have the second win, or the third win. This is the 1911 2.5 Indian, graded VF20 by PCGS, OGH holder. And it received the gold sticker, which is pretty cool. A lot of these coins were just undergraded massively. They didn't know how to grade Indians back then. And so a lower grade one especially was tough for them. They just didn't know what the scaling was. And a lot of people weren't, didn't see these coins as numismatic items if they were low grade. They were more thinking about them as the gold content. So most of these coins were just never submitted back then. And that's why they gave them just such a low grade. But now with the gold bean. Then we have this 1887 Philly. Same type of scenario here. Mint State 65. Green bean. Decent rim towing to the coin. And the sticker's all there too. And the last coin I want to show you, which is our one loss of this submission. This is an 1880s Morgan dollar. It's a great mint state 63. The reason why I think this one didn't sticker is because it was over dipped. So if you kind of tilt this coin down, you could see that the cheek is very dark here. The reason why it's dark is probably because when someone dipped this coin, they ended up leaving it in there for too long. And now the cartwheel luster on both sides of the face and behind the head are very weak. And so that's where I think they didn't like the coin. You can see almost on the, the breast feathers that that was weak as well. Almost like it's been stripped. And so that sucks. The coin looked like a 65. But with that over dipping, I think that's why they gave it a 63 back then. And that's why CAC didn't sticker it. So very great submission here. Almost went all the way. And a lot of wins here also. So we hope you guys enjoyed these CAC submission sticker coins. Woo! Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy this CAC stickering submission, please let us know by liking the video, commenting your thoughts on which one was your favorite, and subscribing for more videos like this because we're coming out with videos every single week and we want you guys to be a part. We'll see you guys in the next one.